All right, guys. We're back at it. Not so easy today. We got some some heavy news. Heavy news. Episode some 12. News. Episode Might 12. Might shake the world, really. Definitely not going to be the same world going forward. What's the big news? Viral rapper Lil Tay. <laughs> dead. <laughs> at I've the seen age that. Of 14. Tragically passed. Do you know how? Fuck no, dude. What the hell? I seen that. It was like her when she was a kid. She's like holding up a ton of money. And and it just says that she's She was a goat. She was an icon for our generation. She was. (laughs) Fucking no. Very mysterious. Very mysterious shit going on. And her brother died. Apparently, man. Apparently. Her brother died. And she died. People are instantly assuming her father? That's crazy. Maybe you should get to the bottom of it. I think I, they're going to need my detective skills. You got detective skills? As the people know, I bring up <laughs> cold hard. Ask Pete. At, ask Pete Styles. I brought up. You did bring up some stuff. Heavy hitters. heavy hitters. I'm sure he's our one dislike on the video. We do have one dislike. Our first dislike from you fucking haters. No, but back to the back to the tragedy at hand. That There's no fun. news coming out on it either. It's 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 strange. You, it's weird how both both of them have passed away now, and and, and it's and it's totally messed up for her for her parents. I mean, oh yeah, R.I.P. Like both of her kids. Fucking hearts out to all the. Everyone involved because it is horrible, but like definitely shady, definitely some weird shit. I hopefully it was like something that wasn't malicious or anything, you know? Yeah, funky going on. It's still crazy, so crazy, dude. She's only 14. That's fucked up. She may be a fried individual, but she don't deserve she that. was going nuts when she was like 11, dude. No, she was nine, bro. She was nine. She first hit the scene. Boom. She was like nine years old. She was like rapping. Didn't she try to fight Bad Baby? I think so. No, that was, uh, that was, I think that was Whoa Vicky. Oh, it could have been. That was an era. What was going on at that era? I don't know. And for some reason, I all like low-key thought they were hot. (laughs) We were like that age. We were like 15, 16, and all of a sudden they're like popping. There's like rappers age 9 to 14. It's just all blowing up. It's going nuts. <laughs> On Dr. Phil. All of a sudden we feel like we're too old to be rappers. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. I'm Dude, for I'm sure not going to make it. I'm way too old to be a rapper. <laughs> Dude, no, I but... watched that uh, Johnny Manziel doc insane that guy was doing crazy shit kyle johnny manzel johnny manzel okay they put some on on him yeah so he he goes to texas a&m right his freshman year he just goes off right he's winning like fucking big games he only lost one game that year and uh beat alabama and, and he's only 19 years old by the end of his freshman year. He wins the Heisman, the only freshman to ever win a Heisman. Damn. Yeah, and he just starts partying hard. Yeah, see, that's that's right when I started, like, tuning into sports is right when Johnny Manziel was, like, right off the scene. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, no, he's a cokehead now. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Funny Manziel. Dude, he was going nuts. And then fucking he goes to the NFL, com- uh, the combine, and uh, he's there. And he has to like, he was sober for a whole month before the combine because he was supposed to get drug tested. And then uh, like right before it had like right before the combine started, he he just got fucked up. He just got uh, fucked up. I bet he wasn't sober the whole time. No. <laughs> but I guess he chugged water, right? Passed his drug test. Just just a classic chugging water. And uh, the books. 
he was about to get drafted first by uh, the Houston Texans. Uh-huh. But they caught him, like, well, they didn't catch him. Somebody seen him on a golf course, like, a week before the draft. And he was just fucked up. He was just drunk as hell. And he was, like, taking his shirt off, screaming, like, snapping his golf clubs. (laughs) He was going nuts. So the Houston Texans, didn't like, they just didn't take him. But he, but he did work out with the Cleveland Browns, who he ended up getting drafted by. I think like the twenty mm-hmm. second pick or something. Yeah. But the day before he showed up there, he got just fucked up with the wide receivers that he was supposed to fucking throw to. Like he <laughs> says, he doesn't even remember that. Like the day before. So he's he's the John Daly of fucking. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. And uh, so he shows up to work out with the Cleveland Browns, right? Like before he's yep. even drafted, and he goes out there in the white and like the wide receivers didn't even show up because they got so fucked up the, the day before. <laughs> but he's just out there, like where are my boys at? Yeah. So do you know who he who he ends up throwing to? Who his his fucking lawyer, his agent? Like they <laughs> like they like. They practice, up right? and started taking passes for him. <laughs> Dude, he had a good team. He yeah, and then I and, and then I guess he balled out and they ended up drafting him. Dude. And that guy's lawyer price went up fucking three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean he was working for his money. But he then can throw he, that on his fucking uh resume now. Honestly, wide receiver for Johnny Manziel, Cleveland Browns. <laughs> So then he uh, shows up to the Browns. He sucks. He watches zero film. Like his recorded, because they have iPads. And it tells you how long you watch film (laughs) for. And it said zero. (laughs) Yeah. Nothing. What a guy. (laughs) And Johnny says he he was just partying the whole time. Did they still pay him? Yeah. Well, I mean, he guys guaranteed money, you know, but. I'm sure, like, the rest of his contract did not get paid out. Yeah, for sure. He definitely got that voided out. So he goes out to play, and um, he goes to play on a Sunday. And, like, the day before, he's sitting there thinking, he's like, I can go to Las Vegas, party, and come back, like, that night and be good for the game. And he goes did he make there. it? Well, he went there. He just started partying. He's like, I wasn't going hard. I was just gambling. And then he looked up, like, commercial tickets to fly back. And he couldn't find any in time. Classic. So he said he just got fucked up. (laughs) (laughs) That is fucked. He just went balls deep. Browns cut him, like, the next day. They're like, dude, this dude didn't even fucking show up. You went. You fucking flew to Las Vegas, Johnny. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, fucked up. And you don't even that, have an excuse. And then after that, he uh, just did a ton of cocaine and oxy's and smoking weed. He got diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And then at the end of the doc, he was like drinking a beer. <laughs> um, uh, it, I was about He's to say, it, it, was it like a story of like, did he get better? No, no and I mean, it, he just explains him fucking up. I bet he's still doing coke, too. He's probably partying for sure. He just got that Netflix money. Oh, he's dude, it's gone already. Nuts. That's sitting in a trap house somewhere. It says property of Netflix. It's just a bag with a bunch of money in it. It's <laughs> just. He's like, yeah, Johnny gave that to me. Johnny dropped by. <laughs> he just wanted an eight ball. He gave me fucking fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't he was know what to do. With up. It. He was I know up. he's gonna ask for it back, but I'm not gonna give it to him. <clears throat> yeah. Fucking Johnny. Johnny Mendo. What a legend though. He really did work his whole life just to get to that moment and quit. When Johnny you know Manzel I mean? was playing football. It was amazing to watch. He would do shit that just didn't make sense. I got a phone call coming in. We're going to have to pause the pod. Sounds good.
Sunset right, Randy. We got a new Red Flash news Great alert. Time. Oh, sorry. I got to sit down. We got a Red Flash news alert. I was just informed. Lil Tay's still alive. <laughs> I don't know what's going not on. Fast. Lil Tay's not oh. dead. Authorities are looking into it. They're they're not they're not investigating the death of Lil Tay and her brother. So she is dead. So she's not dead. They said there's no investigation, no news of her name being dead. Oh, so area. she's not like officially in. So so her body's not in the system yet. Yeah, she's not act. Nobody got a call or anything about reports of a dead little tank. But I've TV seen freaking is the, the last post. Him. The last post she had, the last post she had was like bruises on her face from her parents beating her. Yo. Whoa. So, it could all be like a publicity thing, you know. Kyle, or what? the woman could be dying right now. Her YouTube. Bio was help me. What's going on, dude? Dude, this is what is going on in the world. Lil Tay being kidnapped. She Where did you get be. this info? I mean, I've been seeing it all over Twitter, so that's <laughs> basically <laughs> the most reliable. Yeah, source. I was gonna say we it just is. got some real information. Little Tay is not dead. She's, she's getting, not dead. She's getting fucked up. I think just her career is dead. Just her, her career is over. <laughs> G gets stoned. Whoa. This guy's, what's this guy doing? G, you trying to give us our second strike? That's going to be cut out. <laughs> that was actually CBD. How's it going, G? Whoa. Not bad, dude. Did you see the Johnny Manziel doc? I have not. You have to watch it. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, that guy is just out of control his whole life. Yeah. That, I mean, you you can tell that from <laughs> not even watching the documentary on him. I'm just looking at him? Just looking at him. That guy's withered at 32. Do you remember when he played in the, what, XFL? Dude, he was balling. He was, he was shotgun and beers after throwing touchdowns. <laughs> that guy, he was living like the life that he always wanted right there. Oh, yeah. All Dude, right. it's sweet seeing Johnny. He he had to have gotten like 30 mil for that doc. I hope. I hope not, actually. Yeah, it's going to be gone. For his sake, I hope not. If he gets paid more than he got paid while he was in the NFL, then that man's won't live past a year. He's going to drink himself to death. Dude, do you guys remember that cop? That girl cop who was fucking all of her... Uh, Dude, coworkers? yeah! So I just seen it. I, I, I just seen this on my Snap stories. That she, the chief of that police department's getting in trouble because he was... Him and her were texting back and forth, you know, talking dirty. And he said that he never had contact with her. So they seen that. And then it sounds like he blew the whole case. Like he's the one who got everybody turned in because she ended up not putting out for him. So he got jealous. He was trying to cock block everybody else. And yeah. just get some pussy. That's understandable. Yeah, but he's getting in some trouble. I mean, what would you do? If you found out all all your boys just got fucked by this one hole and she's like, actually, nah. Yeah, I'd be pissed. I'd probably. He just looks at you and's like, nah. I'd, I'd <laughs> go to the gym and be like, dude, you're going to regret that. Or, or would you call CNN? Yeah. <laughs> would you call the biggest news outlets that you can? And just tell them, uh, my name is Eddie Navarro. My friends are all having sex with the same girl. And she's just being cops. used. We're all cops. 
No, this needs she, to be on headline if, news everywhere. If she turned me down, I'd I'd just go straight to David Goggins' motivational YouTube videos and become the biggest badass in the world. I think that was a easily the biggest just distraction story that there's ever just been run through every news outlet. Because why was that? Why did that earn headline news everywhere? Because it was fucking everywhere. I don't know. That's just weird, bro. Yeah, like, it was yeah. just weird. Like a slut, it can be a slut. Like that's not. Yeah. That's not news. I feel like that's like there's. I've worked at multiple jobs, and there's always like. You hear about shit, it's just dude. That happens at every workplace. <laughs> yeah, it's like no shit's gonna happen. And she yeah. and she was just looking like kind of the one that just get you know. I mean, what about? <laughs> she did not look like the one that would. Be, she was the last one you'd expect. I but... seen I I seen a photo of her like not not in her uniform, and I was like, yeah, she's she's been banged up. Did you see she started an OnlyFans? Did she? You I'm pretty sure she did, like, a month later. Like, after she got fired. I'm actually going to look that up, because now I'm... I think she got offered a job at a strip club. Yeah, she did. And she didn't take it. Dumbass. Shame. That's a shame. Man. You know, hey, G, Dude, you I know we would have been there. You know we would have been there, just to see what all the hype was about. I got a haircut the other day, and I kind of look like a little lad. You look cool. You look good, I'm bro. Like a little lad, like baby. You look good. Queen. You you look like a <laughs> rock like star, like a Greta Van Fleet, the lead singer from Gre- from Greta Van Fleet. Is what you look like. Wait, berries and cream, <laughs> berries and cream. My little too loud for berries and cream. <laughs> this is why is this? All right, the it gave me the wrong information. It told me about. An A and E reality TV star from Live PD who started in OnlyFans. So I don't. So I mean, I either one up, I'll take really. But this so is send weird. me, send me both. Up, when I looked it up, Google just like, you know, how it gives you those Google responses, or yeah. sometimes it'll give you like a nice Google paragraph. Oh yeah. It just said. It just said yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said, did the police officer lady make an OnlyFans? Really stupid Google. You know what I mean? All yeah, what was that? Was, yes. What was that question? There's no way you're going to find any sort of description on that through that search right there. I said, did the police officer girl make an OnlyFans? <laughs> that is like the most broad search of all time. That's like, <laughs> did the guy pick up his kids? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> I wish I could share my screen because it just says yes. <laughs> That's just funny. That's good comedy. Thank you, Google. <laughs> How the fuck do I Google this? God damn it. Did the police officer slut make an OnlyFans? Is that what I'm supposed to say? No. Dude, G. Any lows too. Did you guys see that documentary about Conor McGregor? I started to watch it and I fell asleep too many times and I was like, I can't do this again. I feel like they were just trying to make him look good because right now all all he's doing is just partying, like Roids. doing drugs, doing coke. He just I looks, mean, that's obvious. He he just looks beat up. He looks like a foot. Yeah. And like, that documentary came it. out and made it seem like he was all good. No, I that was like... just to show that who the real king was, who the real fucking king is still. Yeah. Who I the like real they're fucking trying to get the last little bit of money out of, out of him before he falls off. Right. They're trying to get the last couple of fights out of him before he gets out of this. I gotta start stop googling that before I subscribe to a police officer's OnlyFans. Yeah, gotta, you didn't yeah, find that's it. That's how they get you. <laughs> I'm not a Google man. I'm not Jamie. I'll just I'm a, I'm a consumer. I'll buy things. You know. Yeah, we uh we we got our Jamie by the way, guys. We got our uh I don't even know what it's called. Supposedly, we need to vet this man. He needs to uh go through our extensive testing. Yeah, he needs Who is this? Who is this you're talking about? I can't put his name out there cuz we haven't got him on Cut the Cut it team. out. But you don't even know who he is. 
Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you might know him. He's a big. He's a big name. Yeah, big actually, name. He might. Big name. Is it DJ oh. Khaled? That'd be sweet. It might be. He's like it a little be. tech. Have you ever played he's... rugby? <laughs> he's gonna be our uh, tech nerd, tech guy. Do the shit that we just don't understand. We get it, but I, I don't. I don't have time to do that shit. Yeah, I don't want to do it, but I, I'm. I'm. I work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I fucking hours. work. I take and four then, hour naps. I'm not working. Work. I'm providing the people with solid news. Yeah. That I'm not sure if it's true or not. Yeah. What What we're doing right now is way more important than editing and you know doing all the side shit. I don't got time for that. I'm playing. I have a career in MLB The Show. I have to fucking keep up with it. God damn yeah. right. I, I, I don't have time to fuck with all this. That's a fact. Or, yeah. or, or the brains. This technology that they come with now is just fucking off the charts. I can't. There's just, it's just getting to be more words, you know? Yeah. More words, more dials, more buttons. It's like, dude. More sure, clicks. All of a sudden, I'm going to need to start my spaceship to make my clicks, you know? What? More touchpad clicks. What are yeah, you eating geez. right now? What are you doing? What are you eating? Badass. And, uh... Whoa. <laughs> we're not going to get a strike. Yeah, that's that is body shaming. That is. No, but I'm we got our tech guy. This. I'm telling Kyle, you're gonna like this guy. He's a little nerd. Dude, we'll run him through. We'll do extensive background te- checks. You know, we should do his uh application and his re- in his like hiring through this. Yeah, we should let the people see. That'd be hilarious. We should ask him multiple questions. We should tell him about the allegations. <laughs> yeah, we should make up allegations and then ask him. And like, sure. just try to trip him up to see if he actually did. You gotta get his it. reaction. See how his PR training is. You know, see if he'll yeah. hold. See if he did say that word on live TV that one time. <laughs> you know. Someone told me he did. We we can like guarantee a health insurance and a four hundred one k and stuff. No, we don't got that. No, but we can tell him we do. We can convince this dude to quit his job. That's what we should start doing. Just start lying to like several people, (laughs) a group of people, people. and just have them convinced that this is something that it's not. Or I can take dude, a screenshot you know what we of our page. Do? We we should buy bots for this. Whoa, whoa, dude! This is organic, dude. This is this is us organic. just going to our friends. Like, dude, you have to listen to this. It's fucking <laughs> hilarious. I promise. I haven't you. told it. I haven't told a soul. I told my. Are pops. these are these guys dating or something? Dude. <laughs> oh, dude, that comment, dude. The only two comments we've had are people just fucking on our ass. Shitting on you. Comments. No, dude. Yeah, how do you feel about that? I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I mean, these guys have gotten two comments, and both of them are just degrading. <laughs> dude, I want a guy. It's been sitting on my mind, and it's not even like I'm not even on this podcast. I wasn't on either of those episodes, <laughs> but I was like, "Damn, that's gotta be rough." I told Eddie, "It's." I made me almost happier, made me laugh harder, thinking that like we have a dislike on a video. So somebody actually clicked on the video. Yeah, I watched watching it. me and Ed just bullshit, just talking, <laughs> and they took they the said, time this, to go. And they're like, so "Fuck these guys! These guys there are idiots." No topic. And then they they hit dislike and commented. Dude, whenever I I get stoned, I just start thinking like I'm I'm the biggest dumbass in the world. I have to delete everything. These dudes are being mean to me. I'm I'm, I'm just a fucking idiot. Nah, dude. And then nah, I start. Whenever I start getting down, I just like I'm like, dude, this is all fucking Eddie's fault. 
<laughs> you have to. I'll Whenever just... I get down, I just blame it on Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> this is like my my I'm I'm like forcing I'm for sure forcing Kyle to do this. I'm calling Kyle like four times <laughs> right right when I wake up from my nap that I take every day after work. And oh, I'm just telling him like dude. No, because trust me, today I was like waiting on the call low key. I was like, shit, dude. Where's my boy? Like, I'm gonna have to call him, dude. I'm late right now, and he's not. He's not getting at me, dude. What's going I on? I slept for. I fucking got off work, fell asleep for like five hours. No, it was it was four dude. hours. Dude, that's exactly that's, what I did. That is literally a, exactly what I did. Yeah. I don't care what I anyone says. At, that's such a great feeling. I went to bed at six or like five forty-five. Oh, woke up at nine forty-eight. I went to bed at like. <laughs> I like Four. woke up and I was like, holy fuck, I'm two hours late to work right now. Oh no. Oh, and I was I was panicked. It was like that that moment, you know. What so what'd they say when you showed up to work? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and, you're, you're, your whole uh your I know, like... it kinda looks cut off. That was funny. <laughs> I was like, I was like looking at myself, and I was like, "Am I in my room?" <laughs> you're, you're like, "Where they sent Squidward when he went nowhere?" It's like a green screen. It is. Yeah. So uh, we were supposed to have an NPC on today, but not today. Dude, we gotta get him on though. We'll get him on. Is it, okay. Who is this? An NPC, dude. From from TikTok. Oh, God, no. Yeah. Dude, G, did you listen to the big debate? I'm numb. <laughs> G, did you hear the big debate? Ed, no, I did not. Once that I one's... heard that politics were involved in one of these Super Show podcasts, I was out. <laughs> this is not the Super Show. Oh, <laughs> we had this problem g a g i'm sorry <laughs> no it's funny i'll go back and see our old videos and it's just the oh like because the first clip is the the, the super show podcast <laughs> and it's just in like the the black background text yeah <laughs> dude cop they up to these right so good look at these yeah, that's oh, big. God, that's a doozy. That's a 1.5 liter do right here, right? <laughs> you can get four of these hoes at a gas station at Kroger for yeah. five dollars. That doesn't even make sense. I know that's the math is trying like it's ding a linking in my head, and I'm like, that's like a dollar twenty five each. Yeah, so this is the thing. So like, when I was mowing lawns, when we were mowing lawns together, we'd be uh. Like, we'd stop at the gas station, and obviously you get, like, a big water and shit, but then you want something, like, to drink, too. So, like, the whole crew just started getting Mountain Dews all the time. And then we would go to this one Kroger that, like, we'd go across the street and mow the gas station for the Kroger. And we'd, if we were in a pinch sometimes, we'd have to get a drink there. But then we noticed, like, dude, these guys got big-ass doozers. What's going on here? And then we noticed Huge. again that they were only $1.29. It was like, what the fuck? Like, this is cheaper than, like, a regular-sized mountain, too. What's going yeah. on? This is some shady I mean, business. So then, all of a sudden, the entire crew is all going up there and buying, like, <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to say buying, like, two of them at a time. I mean, we got it like that around here with them dudes. You guys just be drinking dudes. I mean, my... See, it was almost like it would almost piss me off that it's like I'd have to get such a big bottle. It's like a deal. <laughs> yeah, now, up. now, now you're walking around with a big ass bottle of. <laughs> Dude, you got no clue. When they're selling four for five, you can't like pass up on that, and you got to double bag the shit. It's like so <laughs> heavy. I was carrying it back to the truck, and I shit you not, it broke open. The bottom of the bag yeah. broke open. <laughs> and you can't, dude. You cannot let those things hit the ground because once they do, they're practically ruined. Exactly. And like, you'll get through a stop of mowing, and it's so hot and muggy out, and you'll get back to the truck, and you'll sit in the truck, and you look at down to your feet, and you got 
three dudes taking up half your space and you're like, why did I buy this many drinks? Every time. Oh, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew right now. It's literally every single time. Every day of my life is $12 in the hole of drinks. How much Mountain Dew did you guys drink in one week? Not that much, honestly. I I just got a a 12-pack for the first time in a hot minute. And it took me like six days to drink it all. Really? That's two a day. Yeah. Not bad. I agree. Sometimes I'll go crazy and have like three, four in one day, and it's like ah. And then the next day, it's like I don't drink any. But that's you canned. guys that's drink Mountain canned. Dew every day. No, 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 no. G. See, that's what I was just about to say. Then the next day, I don't really be drinking Mountain Dew like that. Next couple of days, if I overdo it and drink too much pop in a day, it's like fuck that. I plead the fifth. Every day. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> That's so much Mountain Dew. Safe to say, that four for five deal, I got that on Tuesday. And I'm on my last two here, boy. We got them double cracked open right now. Are they cold or room temp? Room temp. You guys always drink? <laughs> you guys always drink room temp? No, see, uh, this one I I got so this one right here, I I had this bad boy last night. I cracked it open before I went to bed, and I was like, I know I'm not gonna finish this, so I'm gonna keep this by the bed. <laughs> I went to, I went to bed last night. <laughs> you guys are the Mountain Dew morning, Bros. I woke up woke up this morning and I didn't take it with me to work. I was like, I'm gonna leave that here for later. I get to work. I got two dues in the fridge, right? Two of these things. I grab one out. I'm drinking this thing. For the day. Or no, 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 I finished one today. I grabbed, I drank a full dew today, full 1.5. Get off work, right? Grab this last one out. It's cold. It's cold all day. I take a swig or two, put it by the bed, right next to my other one that's full. <laughs> and I fall asleep. It's just the recipe for bedtime, dude. Yeah, I mean, you take uh, a yeah, pop, pop, pop six of that hole, you start getting bed. ropey. That's that nighttime cold and flu medicine right there, dude. That's that. That's that natural NyQuil. Nighttime cold and do medicine, you know? Do you piss yellow all the time? Mostly. <laughs> He's like, Mo- no, sometimes I, most of the time I piss green. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are for real the Mountain Dew bros. Little no, brown. I mean, dude, honestly, when I lived up there, I drank way more pop. Yeah, every yeah, time I was with you, it was always fucking Mountain Dew. What can I say, dude? I Living the last. Dude. I always grew up dude. as that like Mexican kid that had the two liter of fucking Big Red at the park. <laughs> dude, dude, when I feel so like... A year and a half ago is like probably when my doozer addiction started. Kyle knows. It was when I got poison ivy really bad. I got poison ivy really, really bad. It is when we started drinking doozers and I was popping Benadryls to keep the ivy down, you know? Oh, okay. To keep the ivy down, it was allergy pill. And it was a big thing to pop the bennies and then hit it with a doozer swig. You know, the Benny and doozer. Yeah. It really got like the... <laughs> It it was a drug. It, it's a it drug. Was. I almost, I made a Gucci main mixtape cover with like Bennies and Doozers all scattered everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you, you for sure had to send that to me. It's lost in the sauce. Safe to no. say I haven't stopped since. You guys have been dude up for a while. Yeah. Dude, just do it. We need a Nike Mountain Dew collab. We you do. I mean? We we just could do, do that. It. Just do it, like with DEU. I'm going to pitch that. <laughs> to who? To the Nike and do. <laughs> I'm going to be like the, the ambassador behind that. <laughs> Put us on the map. We never thought of this until now. Gentry Carter. Or Sensei Randy. 
Sounds like Randy. Send like a VHS tape to the factory of like a video. You know what I mean? Of no. you pitching the idea. You cannot do that nowadays. True. What do you mean? That would show up it? and they would be like, this is a bomb. <laughs> Did you hear about? All right. Big news. The man who threatened Joe Biden was killed by the FBI. Whoa. Where'd you get that? I don't know. I saw I saw an article on it today. Apparently, there's a guy that was making threats to Joe Biden. I mean, just like any other person would, really, you know, like playing, probably playing on social media. I'm going to kill you, Joe Biden. And the man got off by the FBI. How did, is, is it like proof? That the FBI yeah. did it? No, there was there was like straight up saying, "We the man is deceased." We from got the him, FBI. boys. Yeah. Yeah. Like we basically got him. that, literally that. Like we got him. I think I've He's seen dead, that. They like rushed in his house. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So are we gonna like end off this pod with just like threatening Joe Biden? <laughs> I mean, we I mean, it seems that. like no, we're going no, down there. No, 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 no. That's for sure, a strike. We are going down that road right now. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for episode. What is this? Whoa, 12, 13? Whoa, Joe Biden, I'm going to put some thumbtacks on your seat, buddy. Oh, yeah. yes. I'm going to yeah. loosen them wheels, boy. Ooh, God damn. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to loosen them screws on his doorknob to where it jiggles a little bit, but like not that much. And then every time he goes to open the door, he just falls down. Oh, I got it. I'm going to put actual baby diapers instead of Depends in his room. So when he puts it I'm on, it's put... really tight. I'm, I'm going to put clear tape over his uh, walkway. So when he walks, he just fucking smacks into him. See, don't, I'm going to replace that. his... That might kill him. I'm going to replace his batteries in his life alert with carrots. <laughs> that's, just not, that's just not mature. Yeah, it's a serious matter. All right, guys. That's episode 13. Thanks for watching. Peace. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs>